browser notifications are a great way that when granted are a way to trigger information that gets popped up to the user on that website. When testing our applications, we don't want to always get bugged by notification alerts if we're simply trying to test that something in our page, like maybe this title, is working as expected. In this instance, I'm just simply getting the H1 and checking that it contains notification. If we wanted to tell Cypress that we wanted to disable these notifications though, we can pass in a second argument into the visit command where we're going to pass in a new object and we're going to say on before load, where that function is going to have an argument of win, where this win gives us access to the window of our page where we can say that we want to sci.stub an answer for win.notification, where we can say anytime that notification fires the request permission event, we can say that we want it to resolve as denied, where this time when our test runs, we can see that it actually stubs out for that request permission request, and we no longer get that alert. Now, what if instead we wanted to actually test allowing those notifications and testing that the notifications actually work? Well, if we click allow and try to actually trigger this, we're not gonna actually be able to see it inside of the browser with Cypress as they stub that, but we can actually still test with Cypress events that it's going to work. So this time I duplicated our previous test where we're currently denying that permission, but this time we wanna change it to granted, but we also want to mark this as permission so we can use that answer later. To test this out, we're gonna use sci.get where we're gonna find the notification button that we're gonna click, but now we wanna also test that that permission actually worked. So we're gonna fire sci.get and we're gonna get the at permission, which is what we just stubbed above, where we can assert that that worked by saying should have been called once. And once that runs, we can see that it goes through, it fires request permission. And just like before we stubbed it, but this time we stubbed it to allow. And we also checked that that actually worked by checking that permission. Now to test that that actually worked and it said what we want, we can use the sci stub again. But this time we're only going to stub the window, but we're gonna stub the notification on that window. And we're gonna say that we want to stub that as our notification. Now, before we actually test what that notification says, we wanna make sure that that notification happens after our permission. So we can add a new line here, but we're gonna add an and chained onto that where we're gonna say have been called before inside that we're going to pass a second argument of sci.get and we're going to pass in our permission and as you might expect it tested that that permission setting worked but it also tested that it worked before the notification itself and finally to test the notification itself we're going to run sci.get and we're going to get our at notification where we're going to first say should have been called with new which this is going to say that it created a new instance of notification rather than an old one. And like before, we're going to chain the and command on and we're gonna say have been called with exactly. And when we test this, we wanna test exactly what the notification says, which if we trigger it, we can see that it says there's nothing like a good salad. So for our second argument, we'll say there's nothing like a good salad where we also want to escape our apostrophe so that it works as a string. And now it goes through, it triggers the notification, and then it actually checks the notification that it says exactly what we wanted it to. So we were able to flat out disable notifications and we were also able to trigger and approve notifications, but what if we wanted to test triggering those notifications and that it actually respected the denying? So to start, I'm gonna duplicate our test, but inside of it, I'm gonna first change our granted to denied. I'm also gonna get rid of the permission and notification because we'll make that a little bit different. But we can see that what it's going to do is it's going to come through, it's going to stub our notification as well as the notification itself and is going to resolve as denied for whenever we click our button. But now we're gonna use sci.get. We're gonna pass in our at notification, but this time we wanna say should not have been called. And to make sure that we have a proper label, we can say should block notifications. And finally, once it went through, we could see that it actually tried to trigger our notification, which ended up being denied. But then with our assertion, we could see that it was expecting it to not have been called, which asserted to be true. 
So in review, we wanted to both completely disable notifications, but we also wanted to test that our notifications were also working. To start, we were able to stub our window.notification, and anytime it requested permission, we always resolved it to denied, which just flat out denies the notifications. When we wanted to actually test that our notifications work, we were still able to stub the window.notification, but whenever the request permission was called, we resolved it to granted. We stubbed this out with a label of permission, which we then also stubbed out the notification on the window to notification. With that, we were able to click our button to test the notification, test that the permission was asked for before the notification fired, but once the notification fired, we were able to check that it fired exactly what we were expecting. And finally, to actually test that our notifications were being blocked anytime we actively tried to notify, we were able to, similar to the first test, deny that permission, but we also stubbed out our notification like our second test, but this time we clicked the button and then tested that that notification never fired at all. And with that, we were able to tell Cyprus when we wanted to fire notifications and when we wanted to check that our notifications were working as expected.